Hello, I'm Conrad Burdekin and welcome to the Summer Reading Challenge, Silly Squad. And I'm going to be doing some silly poems to inspire you all to go and read some poems or some books or whatever you like and also to have a go at writing your own silly poems. So, today I'm going to come up with some very silly people, some silly rhyming poems and the first one is about a real life grandma called Supersonic Gran and this grandma was very silly. She only liked three foods, cauliflower, brussels sprouts and baked beans and I think that any of you who've ever eaten any of those foods, especially the beans, might know what happens a little bit after you've finished eating. I'll give you a clue. It gets a bit loud and a bit stinky. Now, in this poem, when you hear me say my gran is super, you're gonna go sonic. So if I go my gran is super, my gran is super, you've got it. You yell sonic as loud as you can. Wake up the house, do what you like. Here we go. This is called Super Sonic Gran. My gran has got a problem. She only eats three things. Cauliflower, Brussels sprouts and baked beans from a tin. My gran is rocket powered. Her bottom sure is chronic. She flies so fast it's made the news. My gran is super. She has a bowl of sprouts for lunch followed by some beans. Cauliflower spread on toast, you know what all that means. By half past two her tummy's moaning, after three my gran is groaning. Four o'clock she cannot walk, and then her bum begins to talk. My gran is rocket powered. Her bottom sure is chronic. She flies so fast it's made the news. My gran is super. Blasting through our kitchen wall. She really is a sight. Whizzing, zooming, bottom booming in the dead of night. But best of all on Christmas day. Gran ate a thousand sprouts. She clutched her rear, said oop. Sorry, dear, and let a huge one out. Oh, loud enough to shake the house. It smashed Mum's favourite vase. As through the roof, my grandma shot and landed up on Mars. My gran is rocket powered. Her bottom sure is chronic. She flies so fast it's made the news. My gran is super. Yes, Grandma, if you're reading this, we're feeling rather glum. We miss you such a lot, you know. We even miss your b I hope you enjoyed that poem. What a silly Grandma. But at least now she's happy. All the way up on Mars. Well, I hope she is. Who knows? Anyway, it doesn't stop with grandmas. Silliness infects everybody at some time or another. And I bet some of you have got some pretty silly dads. Here's another poem. And again, listen out for the rhyming words. It's all about rhyming words today. So here we go. This is called My Silly Daddy. I've got a silly daddy. He puts cornflakes in the kettle. And guess what he likes eating best? A bowl of stinging nettles. Ow! I've got a silly daddy. He wears trousers on his head. And just before he goes to work, he paints his eyebrows red. I've got a silly daddy. He drinks mugs of margarine and some days pours his cup of tea inside our washing machine. I've got a silly daddy. 
He paps his car good night. He reads it bedtime stories, then switches off the light. I've got a silly daddy. He rides his bike up trees. And when we're at the seaside, he rides into the sea. I've got a silly daddy. He hides under my bed. And when it's time for sleeping, he jumps onto my head. So now it's your turn. You get to have a go at writing some silly rhyming poetry. But I'm going to help you. So what I want you to do is really think up as many different rhyming words as you can. Cat and mat or um, chair and hair or um, far away and today. It can be anything. And just to get your brains going, I'm going to read you a poem I wrote a long time ago. And each of these verses finishes with a rhyming word. And I'll stop and then you see if you can guess what the rhyming word is. It's called, What Can I Read About? You can read about dogs chasing terrified cats. You can read about ducks wearing bright woolly ha You can read about snakes that rattle and hiss. You can read about cows eating packets of cri- you can read about pirates sailing the seas. You can read about rainbows climbing up tree. You can read about tickling a purple baboon. You can read about teachers who fly to the moon. You can read about mums. You can read about dads. You can read about grands and wrinkly grand. You can read about hamsters with cute furry faces. You can read about doors that lead to strange pla- You can read about painting a tortoise bright red. You can read about jumping on top of your bed. You can read about houses full of pitch black. You can read about beanstalks and young boys called- J You can read what you like. Just read till you're done. And make sure, most of all, when you read, you have... So are you ready? Now it's your turn. And it's really easy. I think the best way to write this kind of poem is to start with the two words that you're going to rhyme. So let's imagine those words are ice and nice. And then each sentence will start exactly the same every time. You can read about. You can read about. And then you just fill in the missing bit. You can read about... <laughs> ice. You can read about... <laughs> nice. For example, you can read about elephants dancing on ice. You can read about bad guys who aren't very nice. Or maybe you could go with glue and kangaroo. You can read about <laughs> glue. You can read about <laughs> kangaroo. You can read about sandwiches made out of glue. You can read about being friends with a kangaroo. And that's all you have to do. Just keep following that scheme all the way down and you're going to have a rhyming poem and make it the sillier the better. We don't want it to make sense. We want to be dancing with elephants, eating glue sandwiches, being friends with a kangaroo. That's what we're after. So now it's your turn. Have some silly fun. And when you've had some silly fun, go and see if you can find some other silly books to have a read of or any book. Enjoy reading and go and create the silliest poems in the universe. I almost forgot. Why don't you guys join the Summer Reading Challenge, the Silly Squad? All you have to do is read books. You can see how many books you can read through the summer, right up until the 12th of September. And get this, 
when you join up, you're allowed to include books you've already read this summer. So, if you want to know how to join up for that, here come the details. And what about this? You're allowed to borrow from the Barnet Library Services up to 20 books or audiobooks. 20! 20 for free! You just need your library card and then off you go. So here come the details for that. Kapoof. It seems to me it's going to be a summer of reading and a summer of silliness with Barnet Library Services. You know you want to do it. Go and find a book. Go and get online with your grown-up. Go and join the library and have fun reading and being a bit silly. <laughs>